In this video, we're gonna talk about how to calculate your car loan principal and interest to your total car loan payment. Now, this came from a question on my other video on how to calculate your car loan payment, where I showed you how I calculated my own car loan using one of my financial calculators. Now, I'm gonna go through in this video and break down those numbers so you can really understand how this is calculated because the question was actually pretty good because I gotta imagine a lot of people are thinking this. Now, here are the numbers from that video. It was a loan of $20,000, so it was a $30,000 car, $10,000 down payment, we're financing $20,000 and it was a five-year loan, so that's gonna be 60 months, and it was at 3%. Now, I know you're thinking 3% would be great today, but that is what we used, so I'm just gonna stick with that number. Of course, you can use whatever number when you do your own calculations. And that total car loan payment is $359.37. Now, this number is gonna be different if you go back and watch that video, and that has to deal with whether you're making the payment at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month, or you get the loan and then make it on the first of next month. So that's how we're gonna calculate it here. So this number might be a little bit different than the previous number. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we uh, bring up our calculator just so I can also walk you through some of that math. Now here's the first thing that we wanna take a look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this board down actually for a second, and we're gonna go ahead up and bring the calculator up. So it is up on the screen. And I'm gonna walk you through these numbers here. So what we're gonna use is this financial financial calculator. You can get the link in that other video that I just mentioned. And we're gonna do five years. So five, shift, N, and that's gonna be 60 months. So you see 60 at the very top. You're gonna to see our 3% at the very top there as well. And then you're gonna see our $20,000, which I already have. I'm just punching them in again for you and it's right there under or above the present value. So that's the PV is the present value. The amount that you're taking out today is $20,000. And our future value, because we're gonna have it all paid off at the end of that five years, so it's gonna be zero. So then it's gonna calculate our payment for us. And that's gonna be $359.37. So that's the amount that you're gonna be paying each and every single month. Now the question, that we had was really about how is this calculated? Because wouldn't 3%, again, let's bring up the calculator, wouldn't $20,000 times 0 0.03 for 3% is $600? Wouldn't my interest be $600? And the answer is no, because each and every month, a part of this payment right here is going towards the principal or that $20,000. Your principal is the amount that you're originally taking out in that loan, and it will slowly decrease over time. And so, or increase, the actual amount of this will increase towards that loan, but this number is gonna decrease each and every single month. That means more and more is actually going towards the principal, the amount that you're actually borrowing, and less is going towards the interest payment each and every single month of this amount. So let's go ahead and break this out. So all we need to do is take 3%. So we're gonna take our 0 0.03, and we're gonna divide that by 12, because we have 12 months in the year, and that is gonna be 0 0.003. But let's get some uh, more decimals in there. So I'm gonna go, uh, I believe it's shift equals four, there we go. So when we go out four decimals, it's gonna give us 0 0.0025. Let's work in reverse just so we can get this math. 0 0.0025, if we add that up 12 times or multiply it by 12 times 12, that's our 3%. So you see how that works? 3% divided by 12 months, divided by 12 months, that's gonna be our 0 0.0025. So 3% will be 0 0.0025. 2, 5, if we divide that by 12. So this is the number that we're gonna be dealing with for month one. So if we take that amount and we multiply it by our $20,000, that is gonna be $50. So month one, so I'll put just M1, month one is going to be $50 is gonna to go towards our interest payment. So we can take our 359, 359 points, Three, seven, that's gonna be 
or, or subtracting our $50 from that, that means $309.37 is going towards this $20,000. So what that means, I have some of this math up here it's just so I can uh, go through it a little bit quicker. So our $20,000 is going to be our, so this is our interest right here. And then we're going to have our principal for month one. And that's going to be our $309.37. So that means after month one, $20,000 minus our $309.37 is going to be $19,000. 690, 690 and 63 cents. So this means that right after month one, once we make that first payment, we don't, we no longer have a loan for $20,000. We now have a loan for $19,690 and 63 cents. Now in month two, we're going to be making that same exact payment. So what that's going to look like, it's not going to be $50. It's going to be a little bit less because Again, month one, we had $20,000, but now our loan is actually smaller. In month two, it's now $19,690.63. So if we follow this same math for M2 or month two, that math is going to be um, our 19,690.63. And we're going to multiply that by our 0.25 because month two. It's going to be the same thing. Multiply that by 0.0025. Put my little point there. And that's going to equal, I have my math already done here. That's going to equal $49.23. So 49.23 is now our month two interest payment. So that's how we're going to calculate that. And then that means, again, we're going to take our 359.37 because that's going to be the same payment each and every single month. So we're going to subtract uh, 359, we're going to subtract 49.23 from our 359.37. So we can subtract that out. And that is going to give us 310.14. 310.1.14. So that is going to equal our total amount. So you can see it's 310.14 more goes towards the principal than our previous month and so on and so forth. Now, it's actually pretty easy to calculate our total interest. And here's how we can calculate that. You don't need to go through every single calculation in order to figure this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up on the screen. So here we go. We got the cal calculator right up here. So I have all of our math already done. So all we need to do is we know that we're going to pay off the loan. So we know that in, in total, all of our payments are gonna equal or pay off that $20,000. So all we need to do is figure out the total payments and then subtract our original $20,000 loan. So you already have it. We already have it right here. So it's that 359. So it's this number right here. It's a 359.37. It's rounded. So we're going to take that and we're going to multiply that by 60 months because that is the amount of payments we're going to be making. So multiply that by 60 months. That's going to be 21,562.4. And if we round 0.43. So if we subtract our $20,000, this will actually be the amount of interest you pay over the life of the loan. So if we went back and added up all of those interest payments and we did every single month for 60 months, that is the number that you're going to get for your total interest payments. Now, of course, there are other fees in financing a car. But this is how you calculate a loan payment with your principal and your interest each and every single month. So the total amount that you're paying stays fixed, but the, the difference between the interest and the principal will change. So one will go down, one will go up. What will go up is the amount that's going towards the principal. What will go down is the amount of interest, the net amount of interest that you're actually paying. It's still going to be 3% but 3% of a smaller number each and every single month. So hopefully this has added some clarity to your car loan payment and helps you understand how this stuff works. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.